Welcome to Audacious RC, where our motto is... I'm not even going to name it yet because, uh, it didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so you may be wondering what all of this stuff is. Well, we did a little bit of science. Trent, tell us about the machine you've contracted here. Alright, so this is the uh, little testing contraption I built. Um, this just took a, a couple of 2x2s uh, two two and a 2x3 two piece of wood, um, a hinge, a metal rod, and some uh, rubber bands here. And uh, all I did is I uh, just created a little uh, bungee motion right here. Um, as you can see right here, you'll stick the wing in right up at the top, right in the wooden dowel area. And all we do to test it is we just pull it back until it reaches to the very end, and then we release. All right, so let's talk about the wing sections that we got. First, just a basic wing. I'll put the dimensions that we used in the description. Um, so we had just all foam and glue, nothing special. Next, we did a wing with a single balsa rod in the leading edge to give it extra strength. Then we did a wing with just wing tape. We also did a wing with Gorilla Tape, a lot stronger. Then we tried two others where we used expanding insulation foam. The first was just regular expanding insulation foam in that leading edge section there. And the second, where we combined everything all into one for a super duper extra strong wing. And we weighed all of them to see the relative strengths versus how much weight it adds. As you can see, after two uh, pretty good hits on the, uh, the basic wing with uh, no modifications, um, you can see there's a lot of damage on the leaning edge here. The second wing here, um, as you saw, um, running through it twice, uh, this has the uh, balsa leading edge. Uh, this took uh, fairly quite a bit less damage than the uh, just the basic wing, but it still took a little bit of crumpling right here on the uh, leading edge as well. As you saw again on uh, you know both the strikes, um, this is just a, a plain uh, wing tape. Um, the striking up front actually caused a, uh, more than compared to the balsa leading edge, um, but less than just the uh, the basic wing. Um, as you can see right there, we still got quite a bit of damage, but definitely less than the original. All right, wing number four, we used Gorilla Tape, which, as you may know, is very heavy. However. As you can see from these results, it's also super effective. Um, it has a lot of, it gives a lot of bounce when you collide with an object, and not a whole lot of uh, deformation right there. So overall, pretty good, pretty good wing. All right, here we have wing number five. Now this one has the foam in it, as you can see, which is a method that I swear by. So. Um, Testing this was pretty interesting because as you can see, it didn't look like it had too much of an effect on the strength of the leading edge. The results of the foam wing were pretty surprising as you can see, it crumpled a lot. However, one advantage with the foam wing is you have a lot of compression resistance right there in the front, and as well as puncture resistance if you hit sharp grass or whatever you do, I don't know what you do. Light poles. <laughs> Light poles, like I do. <laughs> Lastly, we have the one that did everything. As you can see, it barely even looks like it's been touched. However, this is a really heavy wing. But if you're a beginner like I am, and you want everything on your plane, and you want it to be super strong, and you don't care if it goes too fast, you might want to go with this. All right, so what is the bottom line? What do we recommend? Maybe we should all recommend one. Yes. Trent, what is your recommendation? You know, given the uh, the weights of uh, each wing compared to um, you know the uh, the uh, structural damage on them, um, I've been a big fan of the uh, Gorilla Tape Leading Edge for uh, most of my planes, and um, I think I am going to continue to stick with that. All right, Trent goes with the Gorilla Tape. Here is my recommendation. As you can see, wing number three and wing number two right here. What I like about wing number two is that the wooden rod going through the center doesn't add a whole lot of weight. As we can see, it only adds about two grams of weight for a 10 inch section. That's not a lot. And it really does a good job of putting all the forces at one point throughout the entire wing. You can see in the first clip of that first strike, there's barely any damage at all. 
What I like about the wing tape, first of all, everybody likes wing tape on their planes. It makes them nice and shiny and water resistant. You can see it provides a lot of strength from ripping, um, as it's like that skin on it just holds it all together. So my recommendation is that you go with the wing tape and the balsa leaning edge. I personally would recommend a wing we actually don't have here. I would say combination of Gorilla Tape leading edge and wing tape covering because as Lee said, the wing tape covering kind of covers the paper of the rest of the wing so that kind of keeps it from peeling up and just getting all nasty. And I'm a big fan of the Gorilla Tape leading edge because it doesn't add that much weight just putting on the leading edge. And when you do hit something, it's very bouncy and if anything it just kind of dents the leading edge right at the point of impact and you can actually just squish it back or put another piece of tape over and it's not going to really affect your aerodynamics. So that's what I would go with. We have lots of options here. Uh, I mean, it's up to you, your flying style, what your, your mission is. If you have ideas or other tips, leave them in the comments below. If you want to watch another video of ours, click right here. If you want to subscribe, click right here. Thanks. Boo! Right. I feel like <laughs>